Yeah, in this video, we're going to see how to calculate the total number of rows in Salesforce flow without using a loop element. So here is a, let's learn this by, with a scenario. So this is the business use case wherein the sales team is looking to uh, find the customer statistics on the account page. Uh, one of the one of the key metrics they would like to see is uh, the total number of mailable contacts. So when I go to a particular account page, I want to see the total number of mailable contacts uh, right on the account page. So without without doing any code customization, let's see how we can able to accomplish this in a very simplified manner using Salesforce Flow. So this is what is expected out of um, this use case. So basically, right, I'm on the account page and I have a I have a screen flow, a screen component, and you can just see the total mailable con contacts, right? So uh, I should see uh, the total number of mailable contacts is populated right here. That's the expected output. So let's let's quickly see how we can able to build this. Um, so before we go here, uh, let's take a quick look. So this this particular uh, cust this particular field is a custom field introduced. And this will help me to capture the the, tot the mailable uh, contacts. So, for example, uh, under this particular account, Edge Communications, there are four contacts as you can just see, right? So, of which only two contacts are mailable, uh, John Doe and Polly. So, the other two contacts are not mailable. So, when I go to the Edge Communications account page, I should see the total mailable contacts as two. So, that's the expectation, isn't it? So, let's go and then. Um, and then uh, build this screen flow. So I, I've st already started creating the flow. So this is a screen flow. Yeah, the very first thing that I would like to do is um, I would like to I would like to first create a resource. So I'm going to create a resource with a variable name v underscore acc uh, account record. Yeah, so because this is a screen flow, I would like to f I would like to know the account. I Love the account page that is launching the flow, right? So I'm going to choose data type as record and uh, object. I'll just map it as account and I'll just mark it as available for input. I'll say that now um, I'll just start with the uh, with the uh, with a simple get records. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get all mailable contacts. Yeah, so that's the API name get all mailable contacts. So I'm going to look for all the contacts. Yeah, from the account from from the contact object. So the condition would be account ID. Account ID field on contact object should be equal to the variable which we just created, right? Which we marked as uh, marked as available for input. So choose that variable and then get the id yeah, so this way this will bring me all the all the contacts but i wanted to i wanted to um, bring only the mailable contacts so it's like let me add another condition so i'll just say bring me those bring me those um, contacts for which is mailable flag is equal to true and that's it so now i don't want to sort the records for now I don't want to just store the first record. I want to bring all the records. So when I choose this all records, automatically a record collection gets created, isn't it? Yeah. So this is the collection that I'm going to use to find the count of count of you know mailable contacts. So perfect. I'm going to choose this automatically store fields done. So what I'll do is I will uh, create another resource. Okay. I'm going to give a name as variable v underscore total mailable contacts that's the name of my variable and let's say this is a number okay i don't i don't need any uh, decimal spaces decimal places so i'll say zero that so this is the variable which is going to hold the total number of mailable contacts right i'll just say that i'm going to introduce an assignment element so this one will um, assign um, total i'll just say assign values yeah. So the very first thing is I'm going to assign uh, uh, the total mailable context to this variable. And this is where, you know, without using a loop element, we can able to calculate the total, uh, you know, the number of records using an operator called equals count. So just like, you know, other operators and subtract, etc. We do have an option 
we don't have an operator called equals count so this is the one that is going to help me that takes a record collection as input so in this case this is my record collection right so this is simply going to take a record collection as input and then tells me how many records are there in the collection that's all it is so done now all i have to do is i just have to build a screen and i'm going to name it as um, account stats yeah and i'm going to just uh, hide this footer perfect let me bring uh, uh, a display text drag drop i just say this is stats yeah and uh, i'm going to say total mailable contacts colon all i have to do is just have to bring the variable that's all it is i'm just going to um, give a different color just to make it clearly visible on the screen and i'm also going to make this bold right and um, let me also add an image so let it add and uh, let's make uh, let's change the alignment to center align perfect right so this is how it will look like the screen will look like so let me first say done and i wish to save this one yeah of course uh, i can ignore this warning because i know that i intentionally disable that navigation footer right yeah the button uh, previous finish etc now let me activate this cool so now let's go back and then and then you know um Go back to this account page all we have to do is we just have to um, we just have to choose any account and then let's try to let's try to edit the page and um, let's bring that flow I will just delete this one. I'm gonna I'm gonna do it again. So I choose for the flow standard component, drag and then drop it right here. Drag and drop. Yeah. So all I have to do is I just have to I just have to map the flow, right? Uh, the screen flow which we just activated. So account quick stats is the name of the flow, as you can just see. Yeah, this is the one. So I'll go back now and uh, not only you know map not only mapping the flow it is important that we just pass all the values from the record to this id and to this variable yeah to this flow variable so this way it uh, this way you know i can able to read the account id and then i can just you know get the other automation steps executed fine right so let's save this one and let's go back Perfect. Right now, there is no mailable contact, you know, for University of Arizona. This is fine. So let me uh, try to find a record that has mailable contacts, edge communications. So we did see that, right? There are two contacts for which, you know, we have uh, we have uh, uh, two contacts that are mailable, right? Of the four contacts, is it? So I can just see two. So so now you can just see how I can I now you know we we calculated the total number of records without doing any or without using any loop element right so the key is this so all we have to do is we have to ensure that equals count operator is used to find the total number of records from a collection i hope you find this video helpful i'll just uh, come back with a new video thank you so much